Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Today, we're going to see how to make a very rustic dish from Maharashtra, which is called the Bharli Komdi. It's a very unique recipe, but definitely a very delicious one as well. So let's see how to make this. So on a tawa, I'm going to heat two tablespoons of oil. If you don't have a tawa, you can use a kadai also for this. The oil is hot. Let's add three onions that are sliced. We have to saute the onions till they are brown in color. The onions are brown. Let's add one cup of grated dry coconut. If dry coconut is not easily available, you can use desiccated coconut as well. So let's roast this. The coconut is also browned. Time to add a few nuts. So I'm going to add half a cup of cashew nuts, quarter cup of raisins to give that little sweetish taste to the masala. I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil to this. The nuts also have roasted lightly. We don't want them to be roasted too much. Let's add a tablespoon of garlic paste, a tablespoon of ginger paste. Fry this. Let's add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoons of chili powder, a teaspoon of garam masala powder, two teaspoons of goda masala. The recipe of this will be given in the description. Let's shut the flame quickly. We don't want the masalas to get burnt. Now we're going to cool this and grind this to a nice thick paste using little water but we want the consistency to be fine. Let's add some salt to this and now we'll grind this to a fine paste using little water. This is the consistency of the masala after it's ground to a nice paste. The next step is marinating the chicken. So here I have a whole bird which is weighing about 1 kg. I'm just going to give it a few gashes on the side here. I have some boiled eggs as well over here which we are going to stuff inside the chicken. So I'm going to just make a few cuts on this as well. Now let's take some of this masala and rub it on the chicken really well inside out. Let's stuff some masala in the cavity as well. Let's apply some of the masala to these eggs as well and stuff it inside the cavity. Ideally, I would like you to marinate the chicken for a few hours, but if you do not have the time, then probably half an hour to 45 minutes or while we are continuing with the next step, till then also if you marinate the meat is good enough. Let's keep this aside. So while the chicken is getting marinated, let's prepare the gravy. So in the same tawa, I'm going to heat two tablespoons of ghee. Once the ghee melts, let's add quarter teaspoon of hing. Hing basically increases the flavor in the oil and the oil enhances the flavor of the masala. Now let's quickly add a teaspoon of ginger paste and a teaspoon of garlic paste. 
fry this for a few seconds. And now I'm going to add three tomatoes that I have pureed. We're going to fry this for three to four minutes. You can see the oil has separated. I'm going to quickly whisk a cup of curd and add it to it. And I'm going to reduce the flame. And now cook this till the oil separates again. oil has separated let's add some spices quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder a tablespoon of chili powder half a teaspoon of garam masala powder a teaspoon of goda masala let's fry this for a minute let's add the remaining masala of the coconut and onions to this Mix it well. The masala is ready. I'm just going to add a little bit of water that I have used to wash this grinder. Mix this well. And now I'm going to simply place the chicken on this masala. And now on a medium to low flame, we are going to cook the chicken on one side for 10 minutes. Since I want the chicken to cook really quickly, I'm going to cover it with this vessel and we'll cook it for 10 minutes. Now after 10 minutes, let's just turn the chicken. Okay, let's put the egg back. Now let's cover this again and cook it for another 10 to 12 minutes. The chicken is going to get done in a couple of minutes and I want to give it a lovely smoky flavour. So I'm going to just burn some coal here. So while the coal is getting lit, let's just go through a few of the comments from the previous videos. Hey Sean, Sean Fay. So happy to hear from you. I'm glad you've loved the marinade recipes that I have shown. Plan a barbecue for your family and friends. Try these marinades and just enjoy your day. Happy barbecuing. And for those of you who have missed that video, the link is in the description. Please see them, prepare those marinades, plan a barbecue and enjoy yourselves. Just let's see if the chicken is done. Smelling awesome. And it's done as well. I want to give it a nice smoky fragrance. I'm just putting this live coal in a katori. I'm going to place the katori close to the chicken. Add a teaspoon of ghee to this and immediately close this. I will leave this for at least 10 minutes. Now let's plate it. So first of all, I'm going to put all the masala in a platter. This crispy masala tastes really nice with bhakri or chapatis. Now let's put this delicious chicken on the platter.
and our bharli komdi is ready to be served you can serve it with bhakri of your choice parathas or chapatis do try this recipe it's quite easy and let me know keep watching get curried